What's good you guys, it's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidIt.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make crazy pads and Omnisphere from scratch. You know what I'm saying? Something that sounds like this. So let's get straight into it. We're going to mimic this patch that I made. So we're going to go straight into Omnisphere. And we're going to keep this MIDI right here. It's the same MIDI as the one above. Right click anywhere and go to clear multi. And that's going to give you this empty slot like this. So the first thing we're going to do is go into section A of the oscillator. And we are going to go to this section right here and we're going to choose a synth and we're going to go to a sine wave and we are going to get this mini moog pulse narrow all right and this is what it sounds like this is literally all you have to do all right tight right just kidding now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mess with symmetry so you see we have this sine wave selected right here and if you move these around, you'll see the shape starting to change over here, right? So you can mess with what we have already. So we're going to kind of just put this about here. And when you see little breaks in the actual waveform like that, that's going to give you a little bit of distortion. If it's more clear and nice like this, like a sine wave, it's going to be smoother. So it kind of depends on the pad you want. We want to go with something a little more smooth, so we're going to keep it around here. And we'll keep analog about right there. Next, we're going to go to amp. And we're going to turn up the release a little bit so it hangs out. So if we hit it, right, that gives us that little effect. You can turn that higher or lower, depending how long you want, you know, the effect to sustain after you hit it, what the release is going to be as well, so how it fades out. Next thing we're going to do is go into filter and we're going to cut on a filter. So you can see it's already starting to sound better. And we're going to go to modulation and we're going to go to the um, low frequency oscillator one, which is going to be selected right here. And then right here, we're going to go to cutoff. Now you see it gives us that automatic cutoff feel, right? And you can mess with the length of it, where it goes and all that with rate, this knob right here, and source. So if you wanted it fast like that, like... We kind of want a slow one, nothing crazy. And we don't want it to be too long. Just a little bit of movement. All right, sounds good. So if we just hit a note once, that's what we're going to get. We'll turn up the release a little bit more. And then we are going to go into FM. These are different types of modulation you can add. You'll see this is frequency modulation ring, uh, wave shaper. So on this one, we're just going to cut it on. You'll hear the difference. So if I play a chord and then with it on. We're going to kind of just give it a little bit of phase and then we are going to go over to this wave shaper and i kind of just like it on you can mess with things like bit crushing pretty much distortion these are just going to add shape to the waveform which obviously gives it um, different sounds depending like i was showing you and then we might add unison, which gives it depth. Let's hear what it sounds like. So you hear the before and after. This one's kind of mono, and this kind of spreads it out. And then you can detune it if you want. But we don't want a lot of detune. All right. And then the last things we are going to do is come into effects. And on the first effect, we're going to throw a reverb on it. We'll go with Proverb, turn up the mix, turn the size all the way up, get rid of some highs, some lows, 
and let's just see how that sounds right now. All right, we want the time to be a little longer. All right, the next thing we're going to add is in creative inner space, and we're literally just gonna leave it like this. And that gives it that, that sound we're looking for where it kinda sounds, I don't really know how you would explain it, spacey, I guess, you know, it's not very upfront. It gives it that dark ambient pad vibe. And then next we're gonna add a delay to it. And this is just gonna time itself with the BPM of the actual track. And we're gonna put this to quarter notes, turn it down a little bit, and turn the feedback down. And then let's play a note. And then the last thing we're gonna add is a chorus. So, do, 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 do. I don't remember where anything is ever. Oh, there we go. And we are going to add Ultra Chorus. And boom. Now, if we go and play this. Wow. So nice. So that's how you can make pads in Omnisphere. If you guys want to see more sign, sign, sound, design, tutorials, let me know in the comments what you guys want me to make inside Omnisphere, and I will show you guys how to make them. If you did like this video, thumbs it up. You know what I'm saying? You can follow me on all social medias at Lifestyle Did It. Hit my website, lifestyledidit.com for everything else. Other than that, subscribe to your boy. <laughs>